Support for Radio Friends comes from IT Como, offering computer and IT services for small businesses and residential clients. IT Como can set up remote work at home solutions and data security and backup systems and upgrade your company email to more modern platforms. IT Como can also help you get the most from your technology at home. Learn more at itcomo.com. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on the day after Thanksgiving, Friday, November the 25th. And um, we have Alex LeBrunery with us today, LeBrunery Financial. And Alex came in smiling today. <laughs> you, you're, you're feeling very yes, good today. Well, it's, uh, you know, Thanksgiving is a great American tradition holiday. But, you know, since last month, the market's up almost 7 to 8%. So we're making real progress in yeah. getting our statements to look better at the end of the year. Right. So if you've put off looking at any of those <laughs> statements that are mailed to you, uh, it, it still could be a shock, but they're, yes. they could look a little bit better. Uh, yes. And we've got six weeks or so left. So, so when, when you're looking at everything in general, 2022, 2023, what are you seeing for 2023? So we are seeing, you know, the, the Fed is, is slowly but surely winning its fight against inflation by raising interest rates. Um, as and that we all slows know, the economy That down. slows the economy, particularly the housing uh, sector. Um, that's a big slowdown because people, it's harder to buy houses at 7% mortgages than at 3%. But is that, is that good is that, or it's, bad? It's, if it doesn't go on too long, it's good. It, because it will cure the um, ailment that inflation causes on the economy. And it appears that may be happening. So by early summer of next year, 23, we could see inflation much closer to 2.5%, which is the target. Okay, now um, you brought uh, yeah. you brought a, a chart along here for people listening on the radio. Explain what this Basically, chart is. It's a look. it's a going back a couple of years just to show how the affordability of houses has, have um, escalated. Um, greatly um, since the 2020 when the Fed cut rates. So what we really want to see is that uh, next summer is that affordability for average houses to drop um, where you're six times earn six times houses uh, valued at six times the average American income. We want it to see more like four times. Okay, because you, you could see that the house, that, and that would improve the housing That would market. improve it, and, and that improves the American middle class because that's a major step into um, um, you know living the American financial dream. Right, and I, I've read some articles saying that the American middle class is dying. How do you feel about that? I think it's under siege. Um, um, and I think uh, I'm hopeful that politics, um, politicians will get back to working for the middle class. And, um, you know, last week's election was a positive. So there you, you, you see some hope there. I do. For, for, for the middle class yeah, people. I think the people are telling the politicians what they want and what they don't want. Yeah. And, and, and that's important. You know, the important thing to remember is... Every vote counts. When you look at some of the elections that we had, some of them were divided by a very, very it's small amazing. margin. Yeah, literally amazing. We were told that in school years ago. And yeah. Goodness, it's Every true. vote counts. Every single vote counts. Yeah. Um, what else have you got for us there? Well, so looking back, so the market's improving, the stock market, so that's uh, good news. But looking ahead into 23, what I think we're going to expect as investors is that we're going to look at price earnings ratios. And that, you know, is a, a, a quick valuation of stocks, which lets us just say what the price is valued versus the earnings of the share. And so basically it's a way of saying, talking about earnings that companies mm -hmm. make. And I think we're going to see um, some companies do well, like Walmart last week exceeded earnings. Um, which was good, and that's uh, Amazon. On the other hand, another you know giant online retailer, among other things, 
is suffering. Their earnings are not growing, and their stock is still off almost 50 percent. Now, from why a year is ago. that? Why is one company like Amazon going down in value, but another company like Walmart so, going up in value? So it's interesting. You, the two are the two giants, and they they compete aggressively for American retail dollars, and they Walmart's the old line traditional school, you know, store front. Uh, extraordinaire and Amazon is this new age online and COVID drove a lot of online purchases so we might think of this as possibly the the unfolding of the beginning of the post-COVID economy where people are getting back to stores Walmart of course the management has countered some of Amazon's pricing strategy so there's a lot of you know inside the business reasons why Amazon is not doing as well as Walmart earnings wise currently but it's a, going to be a horse race, and we're going to see other major companies like Disney, which has very disappointing earnings because of their forays into streaming video, suffer. But then on the other hand, we're going to see good companies come out to the forefront, and I think that's going to lead us into the beginning of a new bull market. But it's going to be choppy. Earnings are not going to be smooth across the S&P 500. They're going to be winners and ones that don't do as well. So what you're saying is here you've got to – uh, prepare yourself for a little bit of a roller coaster. Yes, a roller coaster, but for in, earnings. But we've already been through it, so we already right. we've, we're on the roller coaster. So um, <laughs> hopefully we're but, going up. Yeah, but uh, but be prepared for some ups and yeah. downs. Yeah, that's right. And and then as we approach um, uh, what we can do to improve our um, personal finances is always you know maintain control over debt accumulation. And save, you know, what we can. We can't control what Amazon or Walmart or Disney do or don't do, but we can control our own spending and savings habits. And as the new year approaches, not to jump through uh, December, but that will be a good time for maybe some good resolutions, which we can talk about, you know, later in December. But yeah, for yeah. now, we should be very, very thankful. Um, oh. Yeah, or we can be thankful so much. that it's it's a little bit better than it was not very long ago. Yes. And there yes. hopefully is a silver lining yes. behind all the clouds. And we can be thankful we don't have to go out and hunt down our own turkeys. <laughs> Isn't that true? <laughs> and I think I'd go hungry. <laughs> all right. But, uh, Alex, it's always a pleasure uh, chatting with you. And I, I learn something every time you come. Well, Plus, I consider you a good friend, and uh, I, I appreciate you taking time to visit with us. So, know, what, 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 if there's anything that people want more information for, what, what can they do? They yeah, can give so you a call? Give us a call in Columbia at 573-449-5313, or a lot of people, you know, labrunery.com or okay. email. Right. Uh, emails on there. And, you know, next time we probably should talk about some of the end of the year strategies. We will. Yes. For gift giving and for tax savings. Gift giving. Yes. Okay. Good Alex, idea. thank you so much you for bet. coming by. You okay. Bet. If there is something that you would like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Drop me an email at pepperpmissouri.edu. And when you go out and about today, the day after Thanksgiving, be nice to each other.